So we just saw a significant amount of power go to both Portugal and America. So we do have a little bit of an interesting situation um, as we are seeing more and more nations kind of slowly creep back closer to English power. I mean, don't get me wrong, England is still very significantly the most, I would say, powerful in the world, but um, as well as, actually, before I say that, um, they really are just waiting to make their next move. At any point, they could make their next move and uh, and really put a lot of the nations that have made, been making you know, slight progress uh, even further behind. So that could be a possibility. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, this is actually, like I said in, in the previous video, a really cool um, kind of point in the map because because you know that Elizabeth wants, you know, she's she's thinking about going to war with Spain, Rome, uh, Russia. The, the nations that surround England right now, it's very, very interesting uh, because really these nations are going to be kind of uh, holding up the rest of the world. They might not be, because all the nations that border England are not going to be nations that win the game. No way. Spain ain't going to win. Rome ain't going to win. Russia or, or the Zulu, they're not going to win. They're too far behind and, uh, and yeah, they probably will not win the game. So... These nations that practically already lost are really going to give an opportunity uh, if they can defend themselves from the English Navy. Uh, they could, they're going to give an opportunity for some of these other nations that are further out uh, away to maybe make a comeback. But we'll see. Like I said, we've been seeing some slight progress being made by both Portugal and Washington. Uh, my fear is, and I believe it's probably going to happen, uh, Portugal and America are just going to get into it. And, you know, that might be bad because these two nations, well, I don't even, I, there's just, there's kind of no question in my mind that Portugal and, and uh, Maria and Washington will definitely get into it. And if it's not a significant winner, if it stagnates and if it becomes like kind of a stale war and they both just bring down each other's navy, then yeah, that's going to be really bad. If it goes one-sided, then yeah, that could be really good uh, because, you know, if Portugal, let's say, just completely wipes out most of the American fleet and then they take over Tunga, then, you know, there's probably not going to be much left to defend Washington, and then that could be like kind of this huge falling effect. So we'll see. We'll see. Massive coalition kind of been forming up against Poland, and I, there's just been wars all over the place. Uh, the Huns might be able to try something here. The Shoshone are a little bit too far away, I think, to make a big uh to, mo to make too much to make much progress but we'll see now the huns this is really good opportunity for the huns because they do have a lot of land units but uh you know poland is right there right there the mayans have chosen order so we actually we have three nations choosing order only two with autocracy so far interesting choices there by the ai uh, but this is kind of a normal setup that we've seen you know and we'll probably see about one or two nations choosing freedom but not much more than that i'm actually really shocked at the idea that there are still so many countries still remaining in this game. I figured by this point in the game, there wouldn't be anything. There would be, it'd be a lot, a lot of the nations would have been destroyed, but um, that really hasn't been occurring. Boom, the Huns have made their first landing, and actually, a lot of Pol a lot of the Polish units are out over towards the west of Warsaw, really opening up a lot of room to move in, for at least Attila to move in. Now, but they don't really have the most powerful of units. Uh, do they have a melee unit that's super strong? Not really. They've got a lot of ranged. Mm. Now, there are other foes at war. There are other people at war against Poland. Boom. Korean-Japanese war has finally ended. Uh, and really, that just did a bunch of damage to each other. That that totally... Wow. That really did. Both the Japanese and the Koreans, I think, just lost their entire... Almost their entire fleets, at least in this part of the map. I know they, they both have cities elsewhere. Boom, India now finally, after like five videos, slightly going after Siam. This might be making, this actually might be having a, a significant impact on the Indian military. Look at that. They look, they look really weak right now. They're looking very weak, and I wouldn't be surprised if a few more units get destroyed. Uh, we might see a new military powerhouse. For the last maybe 100 turns, we've seen Gandhi at, on top of the charts in terms of uh, military manpower. I don't think that's the case anymore. Let's see what he does here. Okay, well, he's somewhat retreated. Part of the reason might, I mean, he might be trying to reinforce the city over this way, or, you know, I'm not sure. Also, is Assyria going after uh, Samoa? Okay, they are. I was going to say, I was about to lose my freaking mind if they didn't do that. Uh, the thing is, they got to get a melee attack over here. And this privateer is not looking so good. Boom! Portugal is not slowing down. They are not slowing down. The only thing is, uh, you should probably allow Rome or somebody else to do most of the... I, I think that would be a bad idea for Portugal to try to go and fight the Zulu right now. 
especially the Zula at the moment. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. How about Sweden and the Aztecs? We talked about how the Aztecs could have an opportunity here of grabbing Stockholm. Stockholm is not defended at all, pretty much. We have uh, Persia choosing autocracy, so we're 3-3 three three now. Uh, Morocco and Russia ending their war. S uh, Spain and Russia ending their war, which is smart. Which is smart. Here are the front lines. These are the... I, I got to think of a, could, a cool term for the nations that border um, England right now. It's going to make it a lot s uh, simpler as soon as Samoa falls to Assyria because then we can kind of contribute... Yeah, I would definitely say Samoa... Or then you you know you would include si uh, gosh Assyria I'm sorry you you include Assyria in that list of of kind of the I I don't know why but I want to call it like the Iron Curtain even though that doesn't really I don't think that really applies here in the same sense but still I guess technically England could go to war with like someone out here they could move towards Venice or something like that it might be unlikely okay so Stockholm we'll probably see a few attacks I mean there's there's one frigate. There could be two frigates, maybe a little bit more. If the Aztecs, the Aztecs are worried though because they're facing a lot of different enemies. So I don't know if they're willing to invest a whole bunch of their ships over just to try to take over Stockholm. Yeah, we'll have to see. Banning of Silk, and then yeah, my proposal. The Zulu are sending things over. It'd actually be really smart of the Portuguese if they just wait for the Zulu to send things over and then destroy it one by one. What does this mean for the other nations bordering the Zulu? America, I'm looking at, and England. If the Portuguese destroy enough units here, uh, we might see one of those two nations join in against the Zulu and get a whole bunch more power. Now, these aren't the most powerful of cities. Oh, my gosh, the Zulu are actually sending things over, a lot of things over. They are not afraid. Okay, so something this is going something is going to happen in this region of the map, something very big. China declaring war in Japan as well as, uh, as, well as Morocco. Uh, yeah, as well as Morocco. Assyria is having some trouble because they do not have a melee unit nearby. Did you get your privateer destroyed? I think you did. Assyria, don't. Are you going to make the same mistake that uh, that America made? You might, unless of course someone goes and grabs Samoa themselves. So China's not that close to Japan. They might be okay. The Zulu and Polynesia. What is this one? Portugal's a chosen uh, autocracy. So yeah, Portugal will be uh, at the opposite end of the English. Wait a second. Who else has chosen order? Persia, autocracy. Okay, so yeah, it is completely divided. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, order's looking, order's looking pretty good. You've got Shanghai, America, England. Those are all pretty powerful three nations. But then again, India is good for themselves. India, Portugal. But India is really in no place to be in, involved in those type of politics because they're pretty far away from anything that's going down over there. Uh, Russia declaring war on the Zulu. Shanghai, America. Oh, see, there you go. That is, I, I just, I just called it. I just called it right now. Um, that this is going to be a really interesting point in the map now, because we'll have to see how much America contributes. Also, will Portugal actually go and destroy these? Ooh, wait a second. Look at that. Look at that right there. The, the Zulu strategy just completely changed. Where they might have been going for the Portuguese beforehand. Now they, they completely switched it up. They're going after the Americans, and they made a landing so far. America cannot sit here and not uh, they they cannot un they cannot defend their cities. They they cannot leave their cities undefended. That's what I mean. Uh, and Isabella, oh my gosh, Isabella won the World's Fair. What is England doing? Did England England? Did you ever try Elizabeth? You got silver. Maybe you just wanted a free social policy. Culture increases. Well, really nothing. I guess anyone that got silver is the only one that's really going to benefit a lot from it. Carthage, Venice, Poland, Shoshone, Assyria, and Mongolia didn't contribute anything at all. But then again, it's probably better that they didn't contribute anything than who was that person that contributed 50 hammers? Like, really? Just 50 hammers? You, you did, and then you just stopped? What's going on with that? Okay, here comes another privateer, so Assyria will take over small good. We won't see that big of a disaster. And Assyria will be doing a little bit better. They did have a few of their naval units destroyed. Uh, we might see an English-Russian war. Maybe that's what England's thinking about. Oh my gosh, so many ships. Maybe they're just waiting for like just a massive world conquest. Like right now, they're just going to go for world congress, a conquest, uh, just just in one strike. Maybe that's what they're building up for. Two big wars. Boom, there goes uh, Samoa. And Polynesia is now down to only Honolulu. This is nice. Finally, it's about damn time. 
the borders start to kind of somewhat clean up. I mean, we, there's still a lot of work left to be done, but um, we are starting to see some some blobbing finally, because it makes things so much easier to figure out where the wars are at and where to kind of pay attention to and stuff like that. I don't know if anyone's going to be able to take over. Ooh, the Chinese actually got open borders through, I think, either Korea. They had to have gotten, I think it's, it had to have been Korea. Uh, and they, they've sent over a pretty big fleet. Zulu and Mongolia have pieced out, and we have Spain adopting order. Another, another big win for order. So maybe this might actually, uh, maybe detour Elizabeth from going to war with uh, Isabella since they are following the same ideology. It's possible. But then again, I, I think that, actually, yeah, because I think Spain would have fallen quite fast. What's Rome doing? What are you doing over here, Rome? Maybe, were you going after Samoa last second or, or what? Could have been. Lots of denouncements for Siam, Rome, and Greece. Mayan just throwing around denouncements all over the place. So it doesn't look like Washington is doing much. Wow, the Celts are filling out with units here. Uh, Washington is not doing much against the Zulu. How are the Aztecs and the Swedish? Nothing really here either. Yeah, you know, the Aztecs, I, I think that the Aztecs are just dealing with too much right now. If it was strictly the Aztecs versus Sweden, then I think the Aztecs would have tried something, tried a, at least a small siege on Stockholm. Um, but right now, the Aztecs are at war with a whole bunch of other nations, so I don't think they want to try it. See, the Americans need to do the same thing the Celts are doing on their island. This island's been completely filled out with units. The Americans need to do that exact same thing to keep themselves safe. Luckily, this part in the... Oh, Rome actually got out here. Antium was been, has been settled. To keep, yeah, they've they've got to do that, especially because I mean, America's lucky in this region of the map. No one's super powerful, not yet at least. So they don't really need that right now. It's not a super big priority. Okay, let's go next turn. But uh, but still, at some point, you never know. I mean, because you have a lot of broken nations. There's nothing too powerful. Oh, here we go. India now really really trying hard. The problem is they've got a lot of land units. This is it. If they don't take si the Siamese capital right here. Um, they will for sure fall in terms of military manpower. Now, will any nation surrounding them be able to uh, capitalize on that moment? The problem is that there are powerful nations around them, but they're only building land units. For instance, Persia. Persia Persia's an issue. Luckily, China's at war with Japan. Luckily for, I mean, uh, India. Um, okay, so the Aztecs have peaced out there. Some people have peaced out with the Ottomans and Greece. Uh, a lot of... Japanese units are, are taking a few hits here, here and there. But no, China, China will not take over J Japan just yet. There's no way. But they're going to weaken Japan, which might, again, free up and make some things interesting in this region of the map. Actually, they're going to go and re reinforce. From Osaka, they're probably going to go reinforce uh, Kyoto. Ugh. Stop making me propose things. I hate it. Okay, so Silk was now pa passed. You can no longer use Silk for trading or anything like that. What's going on with the Zulu? Is are, is Rome at war with the Zulu? I didn't know that. Or I, I probably knew it. I just forgot it. William building another wonder. Can't wait to see exactly who's still winning the wonder game. I know. I, well, it's got to be England now, right? Because Paris had built so many wonders in the beginning of the game. But, you know, England hasn't been building additional wonders. I think, you know, it's possible for someone like the Netherlands or Spain or, or, or Persia um, to have might have passed them up as time's gone by and more wonders have been accessible. Maybe. Morocco's still having a tough time, too. What is what is America doing with this fleet here? Or this small force here? I'm not sure. And also, is this a turtle ship? No, that's not a turtle ship. I was going to say, how did a turtle ship get all the way over here? How is that possible? So, yeah, the Huns have not been successful in going after Poland. Uh, we have Austria versus Greece. Now, those two are close by to each other. Uh, or not. Or not. Okay, I'm wrong about that. I don't know why I thought they were close by to each other. Uh, Mongolia and Austria piecing out. India and Mongolia piecing out. We've got Rome and Austria. Ooh, here's a lot. Okay, so Morocco's going to be able to contribute a lot to that war against the Zulu. Uh, the Ottomans won't be able to help out really that much. Yeah, so Morocco actually will be able to help out a lot of the surrounding nations. So now we have three out of the four surrounding nations around Shaka's territory all at war with the Zulu. Could we see England join in soon? Could we? It's possible. Now, Korea is close to Austria, I think. I just saw. Yes. Problem is that Korea has been really wrecked. They got wrecked. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of 
kind of smaller nation. A lot of the bigger nations are starting to eat away at the smaller nations right now. Except for England, again, staying very quiet at their number one spot. They, they better not get too comfortable, though. The Aztecs going to war with Austria. The problem is that Austria doesn't really border anyone that's too powerful either. Maybe Brazil, or, or maybe if Brazil gives some time, or if Persia sends units, they could maybe go after Salzburg, just take a whole bunch of hits. Like they could, you know, they could try to do. They could take the the penalties for having melee units attack while embarked, but still, I think they'd still be able to take over Salzburg. Uh, the Zulu and Korea, and Venice and the Zulu. Still, no word from England, though. No word from England at all. Sweden seems like they've lost a little bit of units themselves. Yep, here goes Morocco. And Rome is attacking. So, um, because Portugal and America are staying behind, this might be really, really good for them. Because smaller nations like Rome and Morocco will do the, the grunt work. They probably won't take any cities uh, at the same time. Why did Venice declare war on Assyria? Especially because that was, a, that was a far away war. Could we be seeing something here with that? Maybe. Or, or maybe they just wanted to move their Venetian caravel around, I guess. I don't know. Oh, no, we're going to see something from that. So people are not mad. People are, for some reason, very mad that Assyria stole away Samoa. People are, people are not happy about that. Okay, so Morocco's going hard. Uh, bam. Byzantium, Songhai, Japan, Japan, America. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, Japan doesn't have a fleet. Um, oh, my gosh, my head. Oh, my gosh, my head is going to explode thinking about all this stuff. Carthage, Assyria. Carthage, Zulu. Mayan, Japan. Uh, Japan, England. England, Japan. Why? Why, England? That's the only big one. You're not anywhere close to Japan, ter Japanese territory, England. That's the thing. I don't think you're going to be able to get over that way. Oh, well, you do have this small fleet, but you don't have any naval units over this way. So Byzantium might potentially grab Samoa. It's it's possible, but no, they don't really have that many ships. Uh, I think they're going to just grind each other down. Who is this? Sneak attack. England launched a sneak attack against somebody. It will be Russia. I'm I'm predicting Russia. I think it will be Russia. You know, the, most of the world still has those bitter feelings about Russia. There's still a few nations at war with Russia. They've lined up their ship of the lines over in this direction anyways. They don't have open borders, so they're not in good, ter good terms. Oh, they sent them up north. Never mind. This might be for somebody else. Wow, Morocco. I'm impressed. Actually made quite a few uh, units land on the Zulu capital. Oh, wow. Holy crap. They, they could do something here. But then again, we might see someone swoop in. We've got an ironclad from Portugal here, as well as, you know, obviously there's land units around uh, Northern American territory. Northern American territory. Northern United States territory, I guess, or something like that. Not North America, the continent. Um, so America's still not pushing forward. We'll have to see what Morocco does. We also want to see what the English uh, Navy is launching. What, 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 what attack are you talking about, England? Um, it could be it could be against the Zulu, which would bring all these borders so much closer together. Songhai and the Aztecs have peaced out, and uh, the Zulu are struggling heavily. Surprised that Rome was able to send over so many units somehow. Good for them. Huns in Poland, nothing's happening there. They're they they're getting the the Zulu capital to the yellow, but I don't know if they're going to be able to get the job done. Their, their melee units are looking pretty weak right now. Anyways, guys, I'm going to stop right there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.